Yerushalmi. Something so, so special just coming back from El Tisal. And the end of Masechus Ksuvah discusses the following question. It's really one of my favorite topics. Hope Daniel will enjoy this. A husband wants to move to El Tisal and the wife doesn't. Who wins? A husband lives with his wife in the most beautiful apartments in Tel Aviv. But the husband wants to move to Yerushalayim, into a small apartment in Mea Sha'oim. Who wins? Who's right? Who gets the, the right to... Who get, who's, whose choice do we follow? So the mission tells us, Hakol Malim, which means, Pashim Shah, that a husband can force his wife to move from Mansi to El Tisal, or from Tel Aviv to Yerushalayim. And according to the Bavli, which is interesting, Machlekes, Pashim Shah, between the Bavli and Yerushalmi, even though we don't like making Machlekes, but according to the Yibavli, a wife could also force her husband to move from Chutzal to El Tisal and from uh, Tel Aviv to Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim is much, but it's actually not so. The wife doesn't have that right. And one of the Rishonim actually is Mechalik between whether it's Bizman Bezamidosh or it's in the time of when it's not when it's Chuban Bezamidosh. But what's, what is this all based on? So the Lashon of the Mishnah is Hakol Malin. Lashon of Aliyah. Very fascinating Lashon. According to the Ramban, it makes a lot of sense. The Ramban says it's a mitzvah though, I said, to live in El Tisal. Amosha finds in Chodvacha says it might be just a mitzvah kiyumis, but everyone agrees. The Ramban says it's a mitzvah though, I said, to live in El Tisal. If you can't, it's a mitzvah though, I said. But according to the Ramban, the Ramban says it's not a mitzvah though, I said, as man has said. Even though in Hilchas Malachim, it's Mashmal Avad, it's an Indian to live in El Tisal. According to the Rambam, what's the force? What's the reason why a husband or wife could tell, tell their spouse, we're moving and we have to move? So I'm thinking more of the Dech Machshava, and it could be it's really even the Dech Halacha. A husband and wife, Mamash, I was speaking to someone that last night, so he told me, listen, I'm, he's dating a girl, he's not sure if he should go, if he should go, should go for it. He said, she's a little more firm than me. She's too firm for me. I said, you know, the Minas Rabban, Palshi Yitzayin says, Befeilish, that you should always look for a wife that's a little bit more firm than you. And the Yisoyed is very simple, because a person, when he's about to get married, he sits down with his wife, the first decision that he should make or his potential wife, are you interested in being a B'nai Aliyah? Are you interested in growing? The guy said to me, listen, I like the way I am. That means for the, for the rest of your life, you're going to stay where you are? The whole you say of a, of, of a year is to understand, I want to grow, I want to be oile. The Gemara says, Masech HaZvachim and Kiddushin, that Eretz Yisrael is higher than all in the entire world. There's no other spot higher than usual. And if you look in the photographic, whatever, all the, on the maps and everything, and all the, what's it called, uh, Google Maps, you won't see Eretz Yisrael, and especially Yushalayim, the highest point. So there's different explanations, but I think the Pashup Shah, which I think the Maral says, it's a place where you grow the most. It's a potential where a person becomes the best Yid, and it's amazing that if you're looking for it, especially, you'll see in Eretz Yisrael, Yidin are different. Yidin are different. And it's not by accident. Oh, yeah. And we were, in what, we were in one place in Kesaya, and we saw it nonstop. That even the most simple Yidin, even without a yarmulke, and you'll see that different type. And I'm telling you where, it's because it's B'nai Aliyah, because Al Tisor has the Kedusha. The Gemara says, Avira de Yisrael Machkin. We went into an apartment, and it was 12, 12 a.m. 12 a.m., okay, the guy runs into the apartment, he wasn't then wearing a yarmulke. 1.15 a.m., he comes back knocking. Mamish, like a Haredi. You know what a Haredi really means? Haredi means, it's Chored that Dvar Hashem, he trembles. Haredi doesn't just mean that you're wearing black and white. Haredi means that you care. You could be there without a yarmulke and be a Haredi. Because this Yid came knocking on the door, 1.15, and said, I'm so sorry, I just want to make sure you know that some of the Kalim, that there was a glass Kalim, weren't tabled yet. I don't want you to eat without the Kalim being tabled. Does the Yid in El Tisal? 1.15 a.m. he's knocking on the door and saying, I just want to make sure that the... So that's called Hakol Malim. We should be Zeicha, the Taka, we should make an Aliyah this year with the Beis Amigdash, of course. Be Zeich to have a house in Yerushalayim, uh, in Yerushalayim.